Welcome back folks, today we're going to have a look at the banana cup. I've chosen uh, Luigi as my character. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble with dry bones, just a little bit of a lack of acceleration. Not that I didn't uh, come first, but uh, I wanted a character with a little bit more gumption. Uh, so I'll go for Luigi, who's just got a little bit of a higher top speed. And that should suit my needs a little bit better. So welcome back, this is the uh, banana cup we're just going to try and work our way through. Um, Nothing much to say just yet about the tracks in this circuit. Obviously these are all retro ones, uh, so they have appeared on other things, um, whether it be the GameCube, SNES, etc. Um, the original series. Now, I wanted to quickly mention a couple of other things. Um, I have had my birthday, so thank you to all of you who wished me a happy birthday. Uh, many of you did. Um, now, on the plus side, I got uh, a Switch game. I got Mario Kart for Switch, so Mario Kart Deluxe 8, um, which I am thinking of doing some episodes on. So I've got a couple of questions around that for you. The first one is, do you want to see me play Mario Kart Deluxe 8 on the Switch? The second one is, would you rather see me play that instead of DS, or in addition to the DS? Um, obviously, a few things I need to bear in mind. I'm thinking, obviously, of continuing with the Breath of the Wild series. Um, I know the quality on that has not been brilliant, so I'm going to have to uh, probably get a hold of a capture card. So I will have a capture card, hopefully, soon uh, for recording both that and the other Switch games like Mario Kart. So that should be better quality for the Switch games. Um, on the DS, obviously, I'm still recording via um, a slightly clunky method of using my iPad uh, to record what's going on. I haven't got a capture card for the DS. That would involve uh, modding it, which I'm not going to get involved in. That's uh, too much to do, so I'd like to keep it nice and simple. So the question is, do you want me to carry on with these Mario Kart DS episodes? Um, would you rather I focus on the Switch episodes? Uh, would you rather I just focus still on the DS episodes and uh, wait till I finished all the DS episodes before I moved on to uh, the Switch versions. Up to you, I'm interested to hear what you guys want because this is essentially a challenge for you guys. Um, so what are you interested in? What would you like to see from me? Obviously, I probably don't have time to upload three episodes a week. I might do over the holiday season, um, but not generally. So I probably can't do one of each uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Switch. And there are some other games coming up as well, so I'd like to sort of do them as special features every now and again. Um, when they come out. But I'd be interested to see your thoughts on that. I'd also like to know um, what you thought of the Breath of the Wild with uh, the face cam. Obviously that took a little bit of extra editing and things to make sure it all worked because essentially I had four streams going on. I had a uh, video stream for the Switch itself. I had audio for the Switch, so sound, game sound. Um, I then had video and audio for the face cam as well. So there's a lot more editing involved with that, just to make it look as if I was streaming it live. Um, I'm hoping with the capture card that will make things a little bit easier, and streaming is not going to be as difficult. Um, not that I'm going to be streaming, but obviously the editing then will be much substantially less. Anyhow, um, back to the race. Not much going on here. I'm not really paying attention too much, because I was trying to tell you about everything going on with the Switch, and the fact that I now have Mario Kart on that as well. Um, but we've managed to get first place in the first race, and second race we're in first. We haven't had any blue shells so far at all, which is good. Um, but uh, Sorry about that interruption, folks. Um, my daughter was keen to come and get involved, um, which obviously is not very helpful. Anyway, back to where we were. Um, we were in first place, second track of the four. Um, if we unlock this, sorry, if we complete this one, we should get uh, an unlock for the third out of the four tracks. And then hopefully with that, we could then get the fourth and finally move on to 100cc. So do you want to see that, or do you want me to move on to Switch? That's really the big question right now for my channel. Um, I also do have to announce the uh, winners, or the winner of the channel art competition. I have now got entries for that. There were uh, essentially five entries. 
um, I have made a decision on that and uh, I will be revealing that probably in the very next episode. Uh, probably be on Sunday, this one will probably be on the Saturday, that will probably be on the Sunday. Um, I will release just a quick episode telling you about the entries, uh, what they all look like and my thoughts on each one. So hopefully you'll find that interesting, particularly if you took part. Obviously that's a chance for you to have a little bit of feedback on your work. Thank you very much to those of you who did enter. Um, obviously I appreciate that it takes you time uh, to create these things and uh, many of you it would have taken you a few hours of time. Um, so thank you very much for entering. Um, we've all done a good job and I look forward to being able to unveil the winner on Sunday. So that will be Sunday 6.30 and I will announce the winner and show you what the offerings were. Um, this is a very bleak track at the minute, not much going on. No other vehicles around to speak of. I always wonder if I'm travelling alone at the minute. There's your blue shell. Everyone else is too far behind for that to be a problem at this point. Okay. So I know some of you all will be playing along at home, so if you are, then uh, good luck to you. Hopefully you'll be beating my times. Um, if you focus nicely, you might be able to beat those. I'd be interested to know which uh, drivers you're using whether you're opting for super fast drivers, which are a bit heavier, or whether you're opting for the slow but good acceleration type drivers, and whether you think the carts have made much of a difference as well. So obviously post in the comments if you've got any feedback on that sort of thing. I'd be interested to see which uh, carts and combinations people are favouring. Um, right, so Bowser Castle. This seems to be, this seems to remind me of a Nintendo uh, Super Nintendo version. Whatever it is, I can't remember. I think it is. Oh, that was a bad corner. And that was really bad timing with the block as well. So, I'm not doing brilliantly on this track. Oh no! Yeah, I could pretend that you didn't see that, but we're trying to keep this fair. I'm, I'm sending it through for you, so I'll let you see what's going on. We've got time to catch it up. Obviously, uh, I shouldn't be making mistakes like that, but uh, yeah. My current setup, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm more interested in getting through this um, so that we can explore the next one as well. The other thing that comes up in Mario Kart DS is um, snaking. I don't know whether people have done much of that. Um, I watched a very good video, not a demonstration on how to do it, but a uh, quick lap on, uh, I think it was on speedrunning.com, and where I was watching it, and someone was basically just snaking the whole way around the track, which basically meant they constantly had speed boosts. I'd be interested to know if um, anyone has done that or seen that done. Um, whether you do it yourself. It's something I've wondered about whether I should experiment with. I think essentially the idea is you're meant to sort of... no, oh, no, that's a bad place to try it. Essentially the idea is you're meant to try and constantly uh, swerve left to right so that you're going around a corner the whole time and then you can have constant speed boost so you go left and then right uh, so you get a speed boost that way and then you get a speed boost that way. Um, however, I have to say I have never affected the art of getting the speed boost that quickly. Always takes me a few toggles left and right on the uh, joystick to be able to decide to actually get the red flames appearing. And then it's by which time I've drifted too far around the corner, so I've never managed to sort of do it on a straight. If anyone's got tips for me on how to do that, I would love to hear those as well. It's something I probably ought to experiment with and learn how to do. The time investment hasn't been there so far, and oh my, that was terrible. Uh, so this could be a this could be where I'm not going to get first place because that was an absolutely shocking piece of driving. Anyway, let's see whether I can at least get a few more points because I don't want to have to re-record this. Um, not that I would re-record it, but the point is I might have to redo the track if I don't get first place. Um, I don't think you have to get first place in all four tracks. I think you just have to win overall in order to unlock the next thing. Um, but we might be about to find out because I'm probably heading for second place here, really. Um, I'm not going to catch that up before the line. So there we go, second place. Sorry about that. 
More focus, less talk, perhaps. Oh well. It's always nice to see uh, Mr. D making mistakes. That's what you come here for, really, isn't it? Okay, so Baby Park. Um, from memory, this track is literally just an oval. Um, and you have to go around, around, around. And, oh yeah, you've got five laps instead of three. So, there's a good chance on this track that you're going to end up with interference from lapping people, depending on how fast you're going and who you're up against. Given that you've got a track like this, someone who's got um, high, ex or high acceleration, high top speed, that would be good. It's a really straightforward track. You can just drift around the two ends. Um, so actually, someone with a higher speed would be good for this series of tracks. Um, so I'm probably better off here with Luigi than we would have been with dry boats. Um, but perhaps someone like Bowser or Wario might have been even better still. You can just drift around the corners for a long way out and just get that speed boost and carry on. I don't know why the switch, not the switch, the DS requires you to toggle backwards and forwards to get the flames to appear. And that's quite infuriating. Certainly on the switch you don't have to do that, which is quite nice. I've tried out too much of the Switch, I only had a uh, go on my birthday. Um, but I will obviously start a brand new account for you guys so you can watch it through and fight like that. So we've now done all four races. We've got 38 out of 40, so sorry that I didn't uh, manage to get the 40 out of 40 for you. You'll probably see that the ranking will uh, drop to substantially rather than being a star ranking. This will probably be a sort of B or a C, possibly even worse. Um, but we've got through, I'm hoping that will unlock what we need, so that's a B, there you go, so, um, so you're going to need to get 40 out of 40 if you want higher than that, but it has unlocked the Leaf Cup, so I'll catch you back up uh, next time and we'll move on through the Leaf Cup. Um, do please post in the comments your thoughts about what you'd like me to do with Mario Kart and the Switch version as well, um, and I will see you next time, thanks for watching, bye.